Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we're going to take a look at the iHeyTech lavalier wireless microphone. We're going to check it out, see what it sounds like. So let's unbox it and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the box here and we'll take a look around uh, the box a little bit later once we hook it up so we can get an idea of what this microphone is going to sound like but let's get it out of the packaging first so we can actually see what comes inside of it. So let's see, it looks like we're going to get a, it says warm prompt and it says be patient before use. It's recommended that the new machine be fully charged before use. So looks like we might need to charge this thing up. Um, here is the charging case right here. And let's see if we can get this out of here. It looks like some sort of plastic wrap or something. It reminds me of rice paper that you used to get when you would, uh, or you still can get, but it used to remind me of rice paper I used to get with uh, gum I used to get from a little fish store when I was a kid. So um, here is the case and the, uh, the microphones, really nice and small as we can see there. Um, we also have the, uh, the, the, uh, receiver right here. This is a lightning receiver that's going to go directly into your iPhone. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and just get everything out of here so we can see everything that we're going to have. And we're, it looks like we're going to get in this case or this box, it looks like a charging cable, which is going to be a USB-C cable, which is nice to see. And then we're also going to get what feels like a it feels like a dead cat or a, or a foam wind puff or something if I can get it out of the plastic. So I really wish these companies would stop using all this plastic. It's not necessary. Just put it in the box. We don't need all the extra plastic. Um, so here is the, here is the dead cat. I believe it's going to slide on like that so that uh, the microphone capsule is actually covered up and you get some wind protection. So yeah. All right. Um, also in here, it looks like we're going to get a. Um, it looks like we're going to get a user manual. If I can get that out of there, so there we go. So we have a user manual if we need that. Um, I think one of these sides is in English, um, or maybe it's. Yeah, I think it's just. Um, yeah, it looks like mostly in Chinese. So all right, well. We won't be using that. Oh, maybe the other side. Here we go. So this side's English. All right. So there we go. We can uh, we can use that if we need to, so we can figure out um, we can figure out how to get this thing up and running if need be. All right. There we have it. All right. Let's go ahead and hook this thing up to the camera and uh, see what it sounds like indoors, and we'll go over some of the specs and um, and see what this thing is going to actually do and how it's actually going to sound. All right, so I have the microphone hooked up to my iPhone now, and I'm actually recording with it. And I have the microphone just connected right here onto the drawstrings of my hoodie here. So if I tap this, you probably will hear that. So um, let's just go ahead and uh, go read over the box a little bit and see what some of the specs are so we can get a little audio sample of what the microphones sound like. So um, we can see that it says it's going to work for sound and picture synchronization. It's going to have real-time uh, sound reception, tiny and portable, and plug and play. So I can say that it is tiny. The transmitter and the receiver are both very, very small and lightweight. So I mean, you could literally put these in your pocket and forget they're there until you need them, and then you can just go ahead and plug them right in and start using them. Now, um, the case is a little bit thicker. So um, we can see here, the case is still pocketable. It's sort of like a, I don't know, like an oversized um, pair of earbuds case. So, but it's definitely pocketable. You could, you could do that. Um, let's see, it also says that you're gonna get about 300 meters barrier free. Now, I can tell you right now, all of these 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphones that I've tried that say they have 300 meters, I have yet to experience one that has actually 300 meters of distance, barrier free or not barrier free. In fact, I'm not even sure I'm gonna do a distance test with this microphone because every single one of these 2.4 gigahertz mics I have tried, with the exception of the Rode Video uh, Wireless Go 2, have all failed and had signal dropout by simply just turning my back 
in breaking line of sight with the receiver and the transmitter. So for me, if you're looking for something that's going to give you good distance between walls and barriers and at great distances, you need to find something else. This is more of a microphone that you're going to use if you're doing something just like I'm doing here, or maybe you're holding your camera out and you're vlogging, something very basic. A microphone like this is going to do very nicely for you. Otherwise, you're going to probably want to look elsewhere. All right. It says also you're gonna. It's the working frequency is 2.4 gigahertz. Frequency range is 20 uh, hertz to 20 kilohertz. Uh, transmission latency is 15 milliseconds. And yeah, it has single use. Uh, a mic single use time is about five hours. Battery capacity is 70 milliamps. Case battery uh, capacity is 450 milliamps, and it uses a Type C port. So yeah, those are some of the specs of the mic. Um, I, I'm curious to know what you think about it, uh, what you think about it, how it sounds, and um, yeah. So, anyways, I may take it outside just for a second so we can get an idea of what this sounds like. Um, normally, I don't wear my mic on the outside of my shirt like this. Normally, I clip it to my undershirt um, underneath my hoodie or something so it's not visible. So, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and clip it to the uh, clip it to the outside of my or clip it to the inside of my shirt. Excuse me, and then. Just take it out and walk a little bit and see what it sounds like outside. So before I actually go outside, there's one last thing I wanted to do, and that is to give you a little bit of an audio sample of what the built-in microphones of the iPhone sound like. So right now I'm recording with my iPhone 13 Pro. I am, you know, a little bit further away, a little bit longer than arm's distance away. The camera's in the same place as it was before using the wireless mics. But this is what you can expect if you are filming with the built-in microphones of the iPhone 13 um, you know, Pro without this, just using the built-in microphones. Now, I can tell you one thing that uh, I already did not like when I listened to the playback of this is that the audio sounded like it was really, really peaking, like it was clipping like crazy, and it just seemed like it was way too loud. And using the built-in um, the built-in camera app, there's no way to adjust the audio, and I don't see a way to adjust the audio on the microphones here. So that's a problem for people, especially people like me who speak really loud, because you're going to have issues with your audio just being, you know, really clipping badly. So, all right, let's take it outside now and, uh, and test it out and see what it sounds like if we're outside. All right, everyone. So I'm outside here now, and I have the microphone hooked up. It's just underneath my uh, my sweatshirt, my jacket here. I'm just going to go ahead and tap it right quick. You can probably hear that. It's probably loud, and annoying. Sorry, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, and back up a little bit. I wasn't think I didn't think I was going to do a distance test, but since I'm outside, I might as well do it. So I'm going to just straight turn my back, break line of sight, and. I have a barrier because I'm going to be the barrier. So we'll see if it's going to maintain a signal at all or if it's going to drop out right away. So here we go. I'm not going to go too far. I'm just going to walk back here till we get to about uh, this car over here. And then I'm going to turn around and reestablish my site and see how it does. So, yeah. All right. So um, right now I'm, uh, I don't know, probably about. I'm probably about 50 feet away, 40, 50 feet away from uh, from my camera, and uh, the transmitter and the receiver are a distance apart here too. So yeah, I don't know if you can hear me at all. Let's go ahead and walk back and uh, and see if it maintained signal, and uh, if it didn't, if it picks back up as I get closer to the camera here. So all right, well here we are. I'm back right in front of the camera where I started. So let's see how this uh, how this microphone performed with a little bit of a distance test. That was nowhere near 300 meters, but uh, it's enough that I think most people probably would never be that far away from their phone in the first place when they're filming. All right, so I went ahead and did the test, and I have to say the distance test, I was pretty surprised that it actually maintained a signal pretty well even when I walked all the way back to that car there and I and I had broken line of sight. That's something that uh, a lot of these microphones have trouble uh, doing, maintaining that signal, and this one seemed to have done it, uh, seems to have done it. The problem is, is that the microphone just sounds horrible. It does not sound good at all. It's it's super sensitive apparently because um, the the iPhones are not known for having very uh, for very strong gain. It seems like when you plug in any microphone on here, the amps are real weak and the levels are always very low. So this microphone must be extraordinarily sensitive because it's just so loud that just even speaking just regular like I do, 
it's clipping. And other times when I record with these lightning microphones, I'm having to go into post and boost up the levels. So anyways, right now I'm recording with the uh, built-in microphones of the iPhone 13 Pro. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn around and back up and do the same sort of test. I'm not gonna go as far because obviously the built-in microphones won't pick me up from a distance quite as well. So I'm just gonna turn around. I'm gonna start walking here. And I'm gonna keep talking so you can hear me. And you can probably tell already that I've faded out quite a bit. Go to about here because I don't know, maybe you can still hear me okay. The, the iPhones do seem to do a pretty good job of trying to uh, to reach out when they hear a signal and try or, uh, audio and try and grab that from a distance. So you may still be able to hear me okay, but I'm just gonna walk back here. And again, right now, what you're hearing um, is the uh, audio coming from the built in microphones of the iPhone 13 Pro. Now, there's one last thing that I wanna try on here, and that is if I use a different app, something like the Moments app or Filmic Pro or something where I can control the audio manually, how that's gonna sound. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and record a clip with a different app and see if I can drop the gain levels down and get some better performance out of the microphone. All right, so now I'm recording with the Filmic Pro app, and I was actually able to go ahead and go in and, and drop the audio levels down, the gain level down a bit, in the uh, in the app, so we can see what this microphone is going to sound like with uh, with a little bit more manual audio controls. So I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit again, and just uh, and just go back a ways here, so we can get an idea of what this might sound like. So yeah. Anyways, again, this is uh, this is with the lavalier microphone at a distance here, and I'm using the Filmic Pro app, and so we can get an idea of what this is going to sound like. So. Um, anyways, let's see uh, how it does. Hopefully the microphone sounds better than it did before when I was using um, just the built-in camera app. So uh, this microphone apparently is very sensitive. I tried it in a couple of different apps just testing it out and it was all just immediately going straight to the red and clipping. So if you're going to use this microphone, you plan on using the built-in camera app. Unless you are someone who speaks in a whisper, just know that your audio is probably going to sound pretty bad. So I would definitely plan on using a third-party camera app if you're going to use this microphone. Something that will allow you to control your audio manually. All right, everyone. So there we have it. That is it. That is a look at the iHeyTech lavalier microphone, a wireless lavalier microphone. I'm recording with it right now using my iPhone 13 Pro. And I have to say, I don't like it because I don't think the mic sounds good at all. Like, not even a little bit. I would not use this mic at all. I, I mean, this mic's going back into the box, and I'll probably give it away to whoever wants it. But, um, yeah. I mean, there are some mics that have other issues where it doesn't has you know, has poor transmission, you get signal drop out, some of them have bad, you know, interfaces, some of them have bad ergonomics. This one just doesn't sound good. And as far as a microphone is concerned, sometimes I'm willing to deal with other shortcomings if a microphone sounds good. I don't like the way this mic sounds, so I won't be using it, and I won't recommend it. So, anyways, there you have it. Um, I will leave a link to it down in the video description in case you want to check it out. But, um, again, not recommending it. So, um, anyways, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to this channel. And follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.